the the eventuality of this conflict mm -hmm. ni atata kunyima hivyo <laughs> tu how funny ni atata kunyima tu hakuna actually hakuna mm -hmm. kitu mtu anaweza kufanyia eh sasa anakupiga ama kuitia police nini. you know So, so brother brother Zach mm -hmm. how you doing man I'm well oh kwa aje mimi niko fit kabisa mm -hmm. so um conflict mm -hmm. uh conflict is is a normal is a normal day normal day thing right mm -hmm. it's inevitable mm -hmm. especially in relationships mm -hmm. right it is just bound to happen in one one way or another mm -hmm. But uh, I found that men have a fear of conflict. Uh -huh. Men, we fear confrontations with women. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you've experienced that. Um, first off, mm -hmm. in uh, in relationships, yeah. just somewhere along the line, uh -huh. there is something yeah. that you guys will disagree on, mm. and that will mm. be the source of uh, of conflict. Yeah. And men mm -hmm. uh, in relationships, yeah. LTRs, friendships, uh, marriages, uh, they have that fear mm. of actually facing it when it arises. When it arises, yes, mm. yes. Uh, and uh, we need we need we need men to to embrace to embrace conflict mm -hmm. in the sense that uh, they sh we should not fear we should not fear confrontations with ladies. Mm -hmm we should embrace it and be comfortable that it happens ah, and, that's um, true because we have the tendency as guys to to try and put off fires before they before they start and, and you know the truth of the matter is that you will not put off all fires before they start yes yes mm. yes uh i i interesting fact i found that uh 80 percent of divorces are uh, filed by by women ah interesting you know you know the the thing the thing with that uh is the backing the backing of that is that we we the men are the rational beings yeah and the ladies mm -hmm. are the are the emotional beings. emotional beings not to say that uh we are not emotional not, uh, to, not say to say that, that ladies are not rational. they're not rational we just have different skills different right? skills of uh the emotional beat and the and rational beat, right that means we just high in rationality and mm -hmm. then high in emotionality in emotionality so mm -hmm. uh 80% of divorces being being brought about by ladies mm -hmm. does that mean that ladies are always 80% right had uh, no it's 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 um it's a tall order exactly mm. that's that's to say that uh because women are more ra are more emotional than they are rational mm -hmm. some things are tend to blow out of proportion ah uh, that's true and uh there's, there's the tendency of making mountains out of Ant out hills. of anthills yes yes mm -hmm. yes so uh because because of their emotional high emotional intelligence mm -hmm. uh, a small thing might turn out to be a very big thing and uh, a disagreement starts because of that something that's more that's why we are complementary opposites because we cannot all be emotional and we cannot all be rational mm. and that's why a good a good companionship is formed out of high rationality and high emotionality mm -hmm. on, on opposite sides mm. because you are able to tone down the the irrational things that the emotions bring mm -hmm. because we say that our uh, emotions cloud judgment ah uh, that's true so once she's angry about something once she's triggered about something mm -hmm. uh you find that it 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 becomes a very very big thing yet it is it, it yet it is a very irrational thing so the work of a man is to 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 put ration to put ration to to in a in a in, in a relationship mm -hmm. And uh, that that said that's that said and done. Uh, we need now to 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 tell men out here to embrace it because um, what's what's the worst that could happen, right? Mm -hmm. What's the worst that could happen once you get into a conflict? Uh, I've I've come to to hear this from uh, the men who are in long term relationships. Yes, it's the silent treatment that <laughs> they try to avoid as much as possible. Uh, that is the very first thing. 
that silent treatment in the house Johanna shughuli yako ako tu eh ako tu but the biggest thing in mepata hata watu wa penya ti the the eventuality of this conflict mm-hmm. ni atata kunyima <laughs> Yibu tu how funny ni atata kunyima tu hakuna actually mm-hmm. hakuna kitu mtu anaweza kufanyia uh, siadi anakupiga anakupiga amkuitia police you know ni kunyima tu atakunyima mm. so you find you find uh, you find her setting all these uh, wild conditions for you mm-hmm. maybe she tells you that uh, she doesn't want you hanging out with your with your buddies so much mm-hmm. She doesn't want you maybe uh coming home after maybe past 8 or 9 and and you know it's something that uh, you 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 may have seen with uh, with the with the boys when you're out there yeah when when 9 pm hits on ah, the door exactly. ah, man say, my woman does not like me outside at 9 pm yeah. or my woman say that uh, i should not drink some whiskey she is funny she is funny you know para mtu i don't want to i don't i don't like it when you pick calls when uh when 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 you we we're together mm-hmm. or uh we were ex- even experienced a girl telling me that uh she does not expect me to pick a call past 10 pm <laughs> whether or not to know get to connect uh uh-huh. whether or not to connect uh-huh. she doesn't expect me to pick a call from a female companion <laughs> past 10 pm wow that that's that's such a such a bold way of of saying it and uh, yes. and that is a, a case of entitlement kabisa uh, she that is an expectation that she's imposing on you yes and she's feeding her insecurities out on you right? and 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 if you do not follow what what she's uh, what she's saying to you mm. it becomes the source of a conflict it becomes a conflict and now that's where she starts all of a sudden becoming rational anza mm. kuambia wewe wewe unaweza taka ni kuwa na ni kuwa na shika simu za za majama uh, at at past 10 but, but in truth brother that is a business if she wants to <laughs> to be, to be nini calls at 10 pm that's a business so you see rational once she tries to bring rationality in, in check mm-hmm. uh, you find uh, most times most often i not mwanaume anashindwa ana, ana mm-hmm. because she'll she'll reverse the roles mm-hmm. right She's telling you not to come not to come home past 9. Mm-hmm. Uh, because she ask you wewe unataka nikuje 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 saa 4. And 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 as you said before if, uh, if she's the kind of girl you can you can send to the shop at night and she comes back. What's her name? Sane. Sane. So you see um conflict na arise out of uh such things. Mm-hmm. Now uh because men have 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 seen that um uh, historically mm. women tend to raise more conflict in a relationship mm-hmm. than men i mean uh let uh, just look at one one of your past relationships or mm-hmm. all of them mm-hmm. how many times have you instigated a conflict a disagreement It, very few times and when when i raised the i raised the argument it was because it was something serious exactly mm-hmm. versus how many times did she <laughs> <laughs> instantiate the uh in, initiate the, the the disagreement you you put it out clearly 80% of the divorces are asked for by women by women so so that means that means that uh that's not to say that men are always on the wrong mm-hmm. no that's to say that uh the affinity the affinity we have as men for for drama is <laughs> a bit a bit <laughs> a bit higher We have a low affinity. A low affinity. We have a low affinity. So women will just crave drama. And and it's not once or twice you'll hear a lady say, "Oh, to make out, to make out for hmm. for more than two weeks kama kama cut je ko sana." Wa kuzamburu umekuwa mzuri. Sasa ulizo wao like, "Hi, friend." Si si, huyu ni mtu anatafuta drama. Anatafuta kitu ka drama somewhere. Eh. Drama and it's okay, it happens it's natural for them. Mm-hmm. They just crave, they just crave it. So that like say wa usino kitrai kuzima moto do not fear this conflict mm-hmm. because okay what you should do as a man uh be firm mm-hmm. be rational uh so so a sense of firmness and uh, and assertiveness and right in such a way that you are able to rationalize what she is saying mm. so you uh, wonder okay why the hell should I not hang out with my bros mm-hmm. is it rational mm. is her backing rational mm-hmm. you know her backing her reason deep down her reason may be Uh, maybe ama beshte wako they all single mm, and now she's true. wondering wow how are you wakienda pamoja past 9 pm wanafanya nini 
see, yeah. so just look down, dig, dig deeper, mm-hmm. because some some ninis may actually be 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 right. Mm-hmm. Some of her issues may actually be right. Not to say that she's always wrong, mm-hmm. but what we are saying is that uh, rationalize everything. Just look at it carefully and and know what 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 is the issue deep down. Do not let her put her insecurities on you. Yeah, you you should you should uh, you should always check for the sensitive wisdom. From her, exactly. And exactly. once you've gotten the sensitive wisdom, uh-huh. sit down with everything she said to you mm. and make your own decision. Make your decision. If the consequences of your decisions are right, then well and good. Yes. If they are wrong, you learn from it. You learn from. But it. you're the yeah. one who made the decision at the at the end of the day. Uh, at the day. Do not just put off fires. Mm-hmm. I mean, do do not always. We say. I can't, we are, you're in a relationship, so mm-hmm. and you're not bound to agree on everything. Mm, that's that true. means. Most often than not, one party will have to compromise. To compromise, yeah. Compromising once or twice is okay, but compromising every other time just to make the other party happy is mm-hmm. the issue. Mm. So this is what we're saying men are t- are, are tend to do quite a lot. And, they tend mm-hmm. to always compromise, always compromise and fulfill what it is that she wants and in, uh, in a way to, to avoid these conflicts because once this conflict arises, uh, she'll, she'll, she'll be all emotional, she won't want you to want you to touch her. Mm-hmm. She'll just give you the silent treatment. She'll mm-hmm. just be like that. And men are not okay when the women are not okay. That is <laughs> that, just that is that's a, very true. That's a thing in us. They're and, not okay uh-huh. if the woman is not okay. So you ensure that you try and ensure that she's always okay. And in that you end up compromising a whole lot. And that and that's where the manipulation comes in. Yes. Because she will she'll have you uh doing things that she wants for you uh, for you for for her to be happy exactly and and you've you may have seen this uh, on social media even some some famous comedians busy washing uh, utensils <laughs> busy busy washing the house because uh, the woman is angry jam, I'm a jam. Try, uh, trying to win her over it's stress of trying uh, apologizing uh, and yeah. try to uh, appease yeah and and that that is uh that is uh fear of uh of of getting getting to this conflict yes and all we are trying to say is that the most atafanya for heaven's sake the mm-hmm. most atafanya ni kunyima tu eh so face the fucking issue you're the man eh, of the house you're the one of the house and rise above rise above the need for of the bee rise above it mm. don't just be a pussified nigger who's there and that she can use it against you mm-hmm. once she's once she does that you put you put power onto her you bestow power to her because she can use it the way she wishes and in, and uh uh-huh. any way she wishes she can use it against you mm. she can manipulate you using it because uh you have shown that it's your weakness you have shown that once she she withdraws mm-hmm. and she uses it you are she's able to twist you around mm. she's able to get you to do what she, what what you are what she wants and at the, at the end of the day that's all that she can do mm. that's all she will do so just Embrace it and be okay. And actually, it works magic if Akijam, mm-hmm. don't even do what to simbuze, just just ignore. Mm-hmm. Assume, assume mm-hmm. and uh, in a short time, mm-hmm. she'll come back apologizing. Yeah, and uh, oh, sorry, I overreacted. I overreacted. That is, that is I, I blew out of proportion mm-hmm. on a small issue, yes, which will be the truth of the matter, yes. Which, which, uh. Uh, as, uh, t- uh, what do what? Uh, use the subtle art of not giving a fuck. Mm-hmm. Once you do that, you'll be able to solve almost anything in your home because mm-hmm. uh, you'll just not give a fuck if she's angry. Ah, and and you you will have the power to choose what to give a fuck about. about exactly. Mm-hmm. So she won't be able to use it against you. And uh, sooner or later, what she was withholding, she'll be giving you as an apology. Mm-hmm. She'll be giving it back an apology. Now we come and see Makata. We your time to give an apology. And be a partner. And that's it. With so that, embrace it. Embrace it.